the expeditions are a new option to spend your thirst of adventure in shakes and fidget. When entering the tavern, you will be given a choice between two expeditions, a short expedition and a long expedition. The loot and resources you get from the short and long expeditions are overall the same, meaning both options are playable. As soon as you start an expedition, a minigame begins where you have to try to earn at least 40 points on a total of 10 clearings. At least 40 points must be achieved in order to unlock 3 stars and thus the highest bonus level for XP. For 30 points you get 2 stars and for 20 points you get 1 star. Even if you end an expedition with negative points, you still receive a minimum amount of XP. The primary goal of each expedition is to complete the task shown above and thus receive bonus points to increase the reward at the end. If you do not complete the specified task, some points may even be deducted at the end. To collect points as effectively as possible, you must complete certain picture chains. Completing picture chains is often rewarded with bonus points. The picture chains that can currently be completed can be viewed by clicking on the info symbol. On each of the 10 clearings you have the choice between three encounters. Once you choose an encounter, you move on to the next encounter and do this until all 10 encounters are done. If the selected encounter belongs to a picture chain, it will be saved in the bar at the top, so that you know exactly which picture chains can still be completed. It is important to know that once you reach 40 points, you no longer need to collect any more points and you can start looking for chests. The chest is a picture chain that consists of two elements, a key and a chest. Chests reward you with additional gold. Ideally, you should have collected 40 points by clearing 8 in order to be able to find a key and a chest on clearings 9 and 10. However, this is not always possible. The tasks that you can complete can be divided into two different categories. In the first category, when you complete a quest, a certain number of points are immediately added to your score, regardless of what clearing you are on. Such quests have the description, Heroism on Completion. In the second category, the points for completing a task are only added at the very end after clearing number 10. Such tasks have the description, Heroism per selected encounter. As a forward-thinking player, you should always pay attention to whether the points collected from the first clearings, together with the points from the task, already exceed the 40 points mark so that you can start looking for keys and chests even though the 40 points are not yet displayed at the bottom. It is important to know that on each expedition after the fifth clearing, you are allowed to choose a loot between three available options. The loot you should choose depends on your playstyle. If you are low on mushrooms, your primary loot choice should always be mushrooms. Other good options are fruit and gold. Otherwise, it's worth taking resources that you currently need or resources that are multiplied due to events. During the Lucky Day event, you will be offered lucky coins that you can use on the Wheel of Fortune. Now, let's talk about the question of which of the available expeditions you should actually play. If you look at the expeditions tier list on the official Shakes and Fidget Discord, you get the following picture. There is a division between gold tasks and XP tasks because, due to the increasing gold curve, from around level 500 you start to play primarily for gold and no longer for XP. As you can see, the difference between the tier lists is minimal and can be explained by the fact that in the pig quest you have fewer encounters available and are less able to farm gold chests. In the S tier and A tier tasks it is relatively easy to achieve the required 40 points, while in the B tier and C tier tasks it is a little more difficult. As soon as you start playing for gold at around level 500, the primary goal changes and you no longer play for 40 points, but for as many gold chests as possible.